Ice cream lovers, Steve Christensen here, the ice cream bloke, self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School right here in St. Louis, Missouri, crossroads of the West. We're grateful to have you viewing, spending a little bit of time with us here. Do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Ice Cream Equipment Specialists. Ah, Ice Cream Equipment Specialists. Their website, ices.cool. I see what you did, Evan. Ice Cream Equipment Specialists. Ices.cool. Anyway, thank you for your episode sponsorship. Evan and the crew sent down some uh, stuff to make popsicles. And we're going to do just a quick overview of the popsicle making process in this video. We're going to drill down into some of the other segments. Primarily today, what we're going to do is turn this into this. Ching! <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do. And you can do it a number of different ways. You can use the traditional... Uh, popsicle mold, a silicon mold. Let's just put this back until we're finished. Ching! Okay, uh, now. So look, you might not think that I'm not high volume yet, and, and this is a good place to start. This is a silicon mold. There are a lot of them out on the market. This is by Silica Mart. The nice thing is it has stick guides in it. When you're putting sticks into a mold, you want to make sure from a presentation standpoint that they look beautiful. We're going to talk presentation in another video, but here you've got this stick guide so that all of the sticks are the same uh, length in at the same angle, a really good design. But when you want to up your popsicle game, you can move into a popsicle machine where you're using more of this kind of apparatus uh, like this. This is a popsicle mold uh, from Attaforma. They are the kind of primo in popsicle molds. Uh, and we're just going to show you just a very brief overview how you make popsicles uh, in the molds and using a popsicle machine. Okay, so there's a lot of great equipment that you can get that goes along with your popsicle making process. This here is a stick holder and a stick aligner. A lot of presentation goes into the idea that all of those sticks need to be aligned beautifully straight and that's what that does. It also helps with the extraction process. Here you can see that we're using mix. Now I like squeeze bottles. I like the squeeziness of them. They, I find them a lot more um, uh, exact in the process. We've used a little strawberry extract in half of them. And we're actually filling up the mold here only about halfway up because we're going to do almost like a two-tiered popsicle. Vanilla on the top, strawberry on the bottom. So we filled our molds with our dairy mix we're using a regular 10% custard mix. And then we come over to our popsicle machine. Now this is the smallest one. Um, and it is an EMP 200. Now you find that even if you're only making one tray, you do need to make sure that the rest of the molds are in because it brings the either the glycol level up to the point where it needs to be. Once that first round of vanilla is nice and firm in there. Then you take basically the stick holder off and you fill up the balance with our strawberry. You can kind of see it there. We give it another little check before we put the stick holder back on. Now you really need to lock these into place in order to make sure that you're pulling them all out. And you can buy an extractor, um, which is basically a, a bath type product. But here we're just putting them in a bus pan with a little bit warmer than room temperature water and then Bob's your uncle you basically grab that handle and pull them out and there you have some absolutely delicious strawberry and vanilla popsicles they look great they're very well consistent I absolutely love them So folks, just a very brief overview. Again, we're gonna do a bit of a pop series where we're going to basically talk about popsicles. Talk about popsicle. Big song in the 80s, look it up. Uh, I even forget who sang that. We'll put a link down below. Madeline will put a link to the music video down below. Anyway, brief overview. Again, we're gonna do a bit of a series on a lot of different things. We're gonna to put together some fruit popsicles, talk about the difference in moles, what type of machines you should use. It's a growing segment in the US market and internationally. Whether you're a startup business or you're an established ice cream business, you can always add these as a new stream of revenue. Very exciting. Anyway, 
Thanks again for Evan and the crew at uh, Ice Cream Equipment Specialist. Their link is down below. And as we always say, keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next video.